I have here a mirror dash cam. So we're gonna go ahead and open up this box and we're going to take a look at what's inside and then we're going to go ahead and install this inside the car and see how well it works and show you some of the features as well. So let's see what we got here. Okay, so right here we got an instruction manual. And then there is some foam. And then here is the actual screen right here. Some foam. And then here are all the accessories that it comes with. Looks like it's got some silicone rubber and some power cord, a cord to reach to the back of the camera, some more silicone mounting pieces it looks like. Then here is a GPS antenna and then here is the second camera. So it has two cameras, one for the front and one for the back. GPS module, power cord, some mounting pieces, and the actual screen itself. So we're gonna go ahead and take a closer look at some of these and then install it in the car. Okay, so to install this on the mirror, you're gonna take one of these rubber brackets and you're gonna hook it on that little arm and then wrap it around the mirror and then you're going to clasp it back on the bottom one and if you do that with both hands it should be pretty easy and it's just really hard to do with one hand so i'll come back here in one second once i get the second one attached okay so you can see right here i've got that piece of rubber banding wrapped around the mirror and it's holding the screen in place. So now I'm going to start running some of my cabling for the power, the cameras, GPS, all that stuff, and then we'll come back. Okay, so you can see have all of the stuff plugged in, power, both cameras, and the GPS module. And it's got all the cables running tucked up behind the windshield and then either down the sides or across the top into the back and we'll show you where the cameras are and the gps mount now okay so up here on the front you can see here is the forward facing camera with the cable sitting right there and then down here on the front corner here is the gps module that's attached and the cord for that one is just run along here you can see it sticks out right here but other than that it's it's running behind all the trimming so you don't even notice or see it so the rear camera the wire runs out that back window here comes all the way along the trimming all the way down here and then the wire is coming into the inside of the tailgate here and then i mounted the camera on the bottom of the tailgate so when you pop it open you can see there is the camera sticking out right underneath the tailgate so it's hardly even noticeable and it works really good that way so i'm going to show you what it looks like with it powered on and show some of the features of the cameras themselves. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the key and we're gonna see the screen power on. And you can see we are looking at the garage door now. And a couple things is it's got the time, the date, some status down here in the corner 
and then over here it's got direction once the GPS gets a signal and then currently recording so if I go ahead and touch the screen we can switch the camera so now we're looking out the front or we can do a split view or just the back and then it defaults to the back automatically it will switch back here in just a second and there you go now we're just to the back so now we'll look at some of the menu and settings and features and stuff okay so to get to the menu and the settings you're going to tap and you're going to stop the record and then you can tap on the settings cog and then here you can see all the settings the resolution the sensors for parking and g the time date screensaver gps speed units whether or not it auto records what it defaults the camera to whether it goes back to the rear camera and the is resetting everything formatting the card all of that stuff is right here in the settings once you get everything set up the way you want just go ahead and go back and if you have the auto record turned on you can see it immediately starts recording again so a couple other things right here on the on-screen menu is you can take a picture you can manually lock the file if you need to do that and then when it's not recording you can also play back the files so you can see all the files here on the card and then you also can adjust the brightness right here on the screen so I'm really impressed with this mirror dash camera I like the fact that it has two cameras one for the front one for the back and that it can record right here on the device itself on the SD card that's inside of it, it was really easy to install it took a little bit of time to run all the cabling but it was just a time it was still super easy I'd recommend it to anybody that doesn't have a dash camera that wants one and that likes to doesn't want their view obstructed or anything like that because this is not going to obstruct any of your view which makes it really nice